Hi there, prospective patient. My name's William Mitchell. I am a naturopathic physician working here at Arthritis Health alongside a rheumatologist. And I wanted to make this little video for you just to introduce you to me and let you know about what I do, who I am, and just kind of give you a flavor of what uh, the person behind all of the uh, content on the website and what I have put out there is. And so, you know, you'll, you'll probably be doctor shopping and looking for a specialist who uh, really resonates with you and is a right fit. And I think that's really important because I certainly am not the clinician for everybody. And um, there may be things that you don't like about me or other providers that you are seeking. And that's really important because beyond the actual medicine component. There is a therapeutic component that comes from the interaction between the two individuals that is paramount and very important. And so that's probably uh, the biggest reason why I wanted to make this video. And so I, like I said, am a naturopathic physician. I trained at Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine, and I specialize in rheumatology. And so Rheumatology is essentially autoimmune and connective tissue disease, musculoskeletal disorders, um, gout, pseudogout, crystalline arthritis. Um, but really what we are are internal medicine focused practitioners who try and understand everything as a whole and figure out things that are weird to other clinicians that are really not so weird and they just need to be looked at with a little bit more scrutiny and patience. And so when I say uh, specialize, I have a special interest in rheumatology. I'm really trained as a primary care provider, but uh, I, I spend a lot of time with rheumatologists and uh, endure a lot of different um, continuing educational events and content that has really uh, improved my clinical acumen and has made me fit to help diagnose and treat these conditions. And so I have the perspective of a naturopath where we try to address things at a root cause level um, that leads to the immune dysfunction and leads to the expression of these different autoimmune diseases. And so that's really what's different about me when it comes to rheumatologic disease, autoimmune disease, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, Hashimoto's, and everything else. I'm operating down here, which is what is the root cause to the immune dysfunction that then leads to the expression of the different autoimmune diseases across individuals. And Conventional rheumatology really operates here. Methotrexate, Plaquenil, prednisone, biologics, all of these things help control the immune system. And that's all very important. And I'm on board with that. And I do that myself. But ultimately, what I'm trying to figure out is what is down here that is causing all of that, OK? And so that takes some time and some investigation that most rheumatologists aren't interested in doing or are not trained to do. And that's one area where I differ. The other area where I differ is I'm not really involved in academia or academia rather and research and uh, pharmaceutical development. So unfortunately, that seems to be what's happened here in the Valley with a number of rheumatologists who are already in short supply or they are um, really old and retiring and worn out. And so there's a disparity in the provider to patient ratio, particularly in rheumatology. And we have a lot of PAs and NPs who have entered the practice, are not trained as physicians, but are shown the ropes by these rheumatologists. And those are the clinicians who end up treating you. Where I really differ in my practice model is really uh, that it is patient-centered. And so a lot of patients get my personal contact information. I don't charge anything extra for that. And I really, really do care about my patients and treat them as an extension of my family. And I don't like failure. So, you know, I do everything I can to make sure we're doing what we need to do to get you better. Okay. And so that's different from a lot of other naturopathic or functional medicine providers or just doctors by and large that you can't get a hold of because you got to call the office, leave a voicemail or speak to an MA who then has to relay the message to the doctor. And then there's a lot of hiccups that can happen between these different areas of communication and ultimately lead to uh, more time taken into getting you the solution you need. Okay. And so, um, more on the nitty gritty, okay? So naturopathically, um, one of my biggest focuses is your nutrition, 
okay? And so we really focus on your diet and try to individualize a diet that works for you. Nutrition is one of the frameworks, sleep hygiene, stress management, looking at your relationships, your lifestyle, all of these things are kind of the core foundations. And then there are investigative measures that we employ, and these are things like looking for chronic infections, looking at the balance of the bacteria in your gastrointestinal tract. You're probably familiar with probiotics and, and all the bacteria in your digestion, your digestive tract that contribute to um, a lot of different things in your body, and it's really the, the hub for um, all sorts of things that could break down in your body. So we've got chronic infections, we've got dysbiosis or investigating the gut, we've got toxicants in the environment, heavy metals, pesticides, things that are lower on the totem pole there um, that I don't tend to investigate unless the history indicates that and nutrient deficiencies. And then I do all the other things that a primary care provider does, make sure your age-specific screening is up to date, um, even dipping into endocrinology a little bit and looking at your thyroid, which is really relevant for patients with rheumatologic disease. It tends to be a common comorbidity. And then dipping it into a little bit of the mood disorder realm because anxiety and depression is a feature of a lot of autoimmune diseases, be that directly or just as a side effect of not getting a lot of support from relatives or loved ones or um, as a, a piece of just what's going on in an inflammatory sense. Okay. And I should mention here as well, this is where I differ from a lot of naturopathic and functional providers who will tend to order a very large amount of costly lab tests right off the bat, and whether or not those are indicated. And so I really, really try to spend time with you, take a history, learn about you, your life, how things have developed over time, and figure out what investigative means are most specific to you rather than just using the shotgun approach that en ends up costing patients thousands of dollars up front. The other thing you need to watch out for, and I don't want to get too much into this because I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm bashing the, the approach of other clinicians out there, is I don't mark up these special means of investigation. So one test I like to use is an organic acids test. Uh, urine collection and it essentially gives me a sense of what your nutrient status is like and if there's any invaders in the body that need to be addressed. $279 costs straight from the lab. There's some clinics out there that are marking this up several hundred dollars. Same with their food sensitivity tests and some of these other things. So just as a, a patient and a healthcare consumer, always make sure what costs you're asking about costs up front and asking for the details. And if those clinicians won't give you those details, they're probably being unethical and dishonest in some sort of way. And so I always try to be upfront, ethical and honest. Um, there, there's a lot of new developments that are coming out in terms of the testing realm that really haven't been rigorously uh, studied from a scientific, uh, they haven't been rigorously studied in a scientific sense. And so you, you have to really ask a lot of questions and, and uh, be prudent about that. Outside of the naturopathic area, there's the conventional area of practice as well. So I do my best to follow the standard of care, follow guidelines by the American College of Rheumatology, and I will work you up according to those guidelines. So in addition to figuring out what's going on at a root cause level, I do want to know what the ICD-10 code or diagnosis is. And so that might be uh, your blood tests, serologies for antibodies, any labs or imaging that might be indicated, and any appropriate referrals that we may need along the way to other specialists. And then, of course, I have a rheumatologist in the office here I can consult with. Figuring out what the ICD-10 code is, is is really important because not all cases of autoimmune disease are amenable to some of those root cause and natural treatments that I talked about. And if your disease is raging, you have lupus nephritis, for instance, or severe rheumatoid arthritis that is progressing very rapidly and will destroy your joints. I want to make sure you, you are in the right category in terms of diagnoses so that you can get the care you need in terms of heavier duty medications. And so I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what is actually going on in terms of the diagnosis or the ICD-10 code. Okay. And so that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, if, you, if you'd like to learn more, 
and come and speak to me in person, you can schedule a 15 minute consult with either of the gals at the front desk and I'm happy to sit down with you, uh, 15 minutes, no cost to you, learn a little bit about what's going on and if I can't help you, I will tell you I can't help you and I'll try to get you plugged in with somebody who can help you. So this is Dr. Mitchell here at AZ Integrative uh, Rheumatology and it's almost Christmas so Merry Christmas, have a safe new year and let's make 2020 a good one. Take care now.